But the tornado trap keeps us spinning right on top of it. All the healers are dead. E Titans are low. Queen is low. Warden is dead. Unicorn dies. Queen gets targeted. Pop her ability. Please, sir. No. We pop her ability now. She dies through ability. We're back, ladies and gentle clashers, with an XOP matchup today in the Eureka Cup. Round of 32. Single elimination. I think. I think. I could be wrong. Although I've never once been wrong in my life. I'm definitely wrong about that. Here we go. Chinese Indo versus E.T. Bad Zinger. Going head to head today. And Snoopy is in first with a lot of dragons. From the top side of the base. Popping that warning ability. Battle Blimp Storm for the Town Hall. Freezy Boy on the sweeper. Clone spell with his blimp troops. Lots of balloons. Taking that Town Hall down. And every balloon dying to the Gigabomb. Rage spells for his Dargons, moving through the top side of the base. Queen moving through with that OP champion skin. King popped his ability with the almighty Yak. That's level 13. Nice. Moving through the right side of the base. Monolith doing a lot of damage here. Freeze the Monolith. Rage tower on defense. Where do we send the champion? Do we need her? Do we send her? We definitely need her. Where do we send her? We get through the Monolith. We get through the Eagle. Trying to get through the Expo. Trying to get through the Royal Champion. Queen doing what queens do best. She's beating on walls, that silly goose. We send the champion from the right side. Rage Tower is expiring. That's good news. The Warden is still alive on 1 HP. King moving through. Poison on the enemy champion. Okay. Probably should have saved it for the king, man. Honestly, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a skelly trap farm over there too. We do get through the champion though. We get through the expo. We're trying to get through the scatter shot, and we do. There isn't skelly one skelly trap there. We still got all four heroes alive. Some of them are very low on HP. Dragon pre-triggers the Rage Tower. That might actually come in clutch. We don't have to worry about it later. Champion gets out in front. She gets the Wither Tower, but she's going to go down. She's dead. It's up to the king. It's up to the queen. The king's about to die. The queen has her ability. We got a freeze spell. Can the unicorn, the queen, and her ability get through all of that? You need the ability for the king. You use the freeze first. What does he decide to do? He goes with the ability. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Get through this king. Get through this king. Get through this king. Get through this king. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. You have a freeze. Why do you not use the freeze, sir? Snoopy! You didn't know about the freeze? Rip. Vane is in with the first attack for Bad Zinger. Bringing us some queen charge bacon. All right. Couple balloons. Battle blimp. Sure, sure, sure. Battle Blimp makes it all the way to the scatter shore. Hello, super minions in the defense. Can those yetis get the scatter shot, please? Yes, they do. OP. Here comes CC troops. Don't be afraid to use your poison, sir. There's the poison. There are the healers. Cool. Very good so far. We do you have a Valk for headhunters? Still to utilize. One healing spell for these piggies, which is good news. Queen to fight enemy queen. Is he paying attention? Yes, he is. Sends a headhunter in there. Is that going to keep him from using a spell? And it does. Clutch. Clutch. Queen moving her way inside. King to go take out the outside Inferno. And he might also pre trigger this uh, poison tower. Which would be cash money. Ooh. Freeze it. We can get through the multi first. Then after the multi's dead, let him trigger. Yes. Okay, I think that was done really well. Nice job from Vayne. That baby dragon got zero value whatsoever. Queen gonna go right in for the town hall. We're gonna rage her up. Monolith is gonna lock on. It's a lot of damage. Might need another spell. But here we go. He's dropping the bacon first. Town hall secured. Warden ability, rage spell, poison tower going off on the piggies. More piggies on the right side. Invis rage on the queen. She's still healthy. Giga poison's expiring. Healing spell for the hog riders. It's looking decent. Sneaky goblins for cleanup. More pigs from the right side. He's doing everything perfectly so far. Is it going to work out? It just might. Queen takes out the enemy champion. Piggy's still moving through. Champion's still healthy. It's the sweeper. 
Gets the Builder Hut. Moving through the right side, taking out the Wizard Tower, taking out the Mortar, getting all the way to the scatter shot, and this is crushed for Vayne. What a plan with the Queen Charge Bacon. Nice. Very, very nice. How about that? RC pops her ability. All these defenses going down. Queen pops her ability as well to speed things up. And it is a triple for Bad Zinger to open up their side of the match. They will have the lead early. Three stars to two. Nice hit right here with the Queen Charge Piggies. Plenty of time to get that CC building here on the end. Aldi is in. More dragon spam from Chinese in though. All right, let's see if they can make this one work out. That last one, 95%, and Homie forgot to use his last free spell, too. Let's see if they can get this one. Battle Blimp. Dragon soaring through. Warden ability. Double clone setup for these balloons. Tornado Trap catches all of them, though. Yikes, he lost a lot of balloons. I feel like he just swagged two clone spells. Free spell in the middle. Dragons moving through. King and queen on the right side. Champions in early on the left. Freeze on the monolith as some of the dragons get stuck on the barbarian. King still has one more freeze. He's going to use it on the monolith as well. Everything deployed so early in this one. Is it going to work out? Dragons pathing through. The dogs are going crazy. Show them real quick on the dog camp. <laughs> My wife just showed up and the dogs go crazy. Champion pops her ability. Trying to fight the enemy queen. Is going to get through her. Can okay, Diggy stun the scatter shot again? No. Down goes the friendly champion, but down goes the scatter shot. We still got queen with ability on the outside of the base. We got a couple dragons and riders moving through. Can he triple this? It might still work out. Hold on. Warden gets through the warden statue. Queen has ability. I think there's three stars. Ooh. Look at that. Chinese Indo going to be able to catch up with a little three star here. And pressure is going to be on Bad Zinger now. Pops Queen ability. Still has the warden. Still has like four dragons and the phoenix. Two Teslas left. They can't stand a chance. Over a minute to spare. And Chinese Indo make it work. With the dragon spam. GG. Kureshi is in. Second attack for Bad Zinger and pressure on now. They got to get more than 95% to keep the lead. Let's see if they can do it with the queen charge into E Titan smash. But we also have a recall spell here. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Warden with the queen. We get the expo down. Okay. When do we recall? After the eagle's dead? Ooh, hello CC true. Use your poison? Yes, no, maybe so. He doesn't he, Oh, he doesn't have a poison. We don't need a poison, bro. Queen and warden just snipe everything. Beautiful. There's the recall. We don't hit all the healers, but then we just drop them further outside the base, pull the healers up a little more so they're out of range of the multi. That's the whole reason for that eat, eat recall. Is it worth it? You guys tell me. You guys tell me. King Witch is on the left. E Titan's going inside. The healers still end up getting hit by the multi anyway. So I don't know if it's worth two spell space just for that. Flame Flinger's doing a great job on the right side. We're going to start freezing the multi. We're going to send Champion early to the multi. Jumping spell gives us access to most of the bays. Pretty much everything actually. Champion to fight enemy champion. Do we utilize a spell there? Ooh, oh, he does. Nice. Champion can take out enemy champion. Oh, maybe not. Monolith hits her first. Rip. Well, thank you for the coffee, wifey. Love you. My wife's awesome. E-Titan's moving through the bottom side. Uh, Is he going to be able to get the town hall? He uses champion so early. Warden ability going off. Yeti's out of the Flame Flinger. The Monolith is still there. The Invis Tower might recharge before we get in there. The Warden's trying to get out in front. What the? He's dead. This might be a one-star, guys. Queen's going inside. She has her ability, but if that Invis Tower recharges before she can take it out, he's in trouble. Pop her ability, maybe? Pop her ability. It's worth it. Yes, come on. Get the Town Hall before Invis goes off. Now he needs 96% for the lead. 95, 96, 97. Can he triple? He's got a lot of E-Girls. With the king. Queen gets out in front. She's going to get bamboozled. Invis Tower is going to cause some problems here. Sneaky goblins. 
taking the jump spell, going for the CC. Monolith goes invisible. What the? 24 seconds on the clock. We get the CC and we get the monolith. And it's still a three star. Wow. Komodo is in with the next attack for Chinese Indo. We got a we got a close match in our hands here, guys. The only fail so far has been a 95%. Two lightning spells for a sweeper, and we got super dragons on this one. Chinese Indo doing their third attack, and they've done three dragon style spams so far. So they obviously love the air spam. A couple Yetis and Wizards to funnel. Super Dragons in from the top right. We'll take a nice sip of coffee that my wife just made me while we see what these dragons can do. Oh my gosh, that's freaking hot. Ah! Thank you, wife. Battle Blimp is in. Skeleton spell to distract the monolith, but hello, Tornado Trap. We popped the Warren ability. It might have been too early, bro. Does this Blimp make it all the way? Maybe. Maybe. Hello, Poison Tower. No more... Oh, what's he got? Oh, Super Minion Bomb. Let's go. With the clone. With the rage. With another invis. Town Hall gonna blow up. Super Minion's gonna get some more bonus value on top of that. Ooh, I like this, bro. This might work. Next invis is in. Super Dragons are splitting up into 17 different directions. He's invising again on the left side. Can he take out some of these scatter shots? That would be ideal. Ward and Owl almost took out that scatter, but they changed their mind. They're gonna go target some other stuff with the Super Minions. This scatter shot will drop. He sends his champion from the top side, king and queen from the right side. Will queen go inside for the scatter? If she doesn't, he might be in trouble. He's going to awkwardly skip it. Oh, he got it. The, the super dragon chain effect took out that scatter. Oh, he's looking good now. RC ability goes off, taking out all these defenses. Warden dies in the middle. RC goes for the wizard tower, going to take it out. And she'll take out the warden statue. This is crushed. This is crushed, dude. Chinese Indo making air spam. Look easy at Town Hall 15. Almost like it's Town Hall 14 again. Hey, yo. They're putting the pressure right back on the bad singer. Look at this. Plenty of time left over. King and Queen still healthy. Healthy, healthy. One super minion still alive. Plenty of time. And it's another triple. Chinese Indo are up eight stars after three attacks. Dima is in more e titan seven lightning spells on this one that is a lot that is a lot queen on the left side of the base flame flingers in Ooh, nice zap quake value though takes out two expos and a scator shot all right cool cool queen and warden doing their thing from the left side couple sneakies flame flinger trying to funnel the top side to force queen and warden down toward the monolith section all right, I can dig it. Can you dig it? Because I can dig it. Couple Cocoa Balloons, Frosty, Unicorn, Eagle is away. Locks on to the Queen. Yeti on the bottom side doing a little bit extra funneling. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Here come the E-Titans. We lose one healer to a Seeking Airmine. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Queen and Warden do get through the monolith, though. King Witch is on the bottom side. Flame Flinger still pushing through. There's the jumping spell. Here come the CC troops. Poison Tower goes off on defense as well. We pop the Warden ability. Everybody is safe for nine seconds. Does he have that max level Warden? He does. Nine seconds. I think. I don't know. Could be wrong. Flame Flinger about to die to a mortar, but it's already gotten some decent value. We're going to freeze and rage going into the Town Hall section. Can we take everything out? There is a scary Invis Tower. Town Hall goes invisible. We're all going to skip it. But the Tornado Trap keeps us spinning right on top of it. All the healers are dead. E-Titans are low. Queen is low. Warden is dead. Unicorn dies. Queen gets targeted. Pop her ability. Please, sir. No. We pop her ability now. She dies through ability. Oh, Dima, you're throwing. Chinese Indo might just take the lead now. Oh, champion's in on the bottom side. Can he still get through the whole base? Hold on. The king is going to be the biggest threat. Why did you send the headhunter from 3 o'clock? That was a complete waste. Oh, you could have had the headhunter. Oh. He's got the RC ability, but no spells. And he has to fight the BK without a headhunter. Why did he send the headhunter early? Oh, no. If he would have saved the headhunter, this might have had a chance. 
just might have had a chance. Down goes the bomb tower. We pop her ability. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, if he saved the headhunter, I think this was a three star. Or at least a time fail. Rip. 94%. And Chinese Indo take the lead by literally one building. Seven. With the fourth attack for Chinese Indo, and they're finally getting away from the air spam. The air spam was working for them, though, so I'm surprised. They're going with E-Titans. They're going with Apprentice Warden. Was that Battle Blimp supposed to be for the multi? Because he completely whiffed. No? Okay. It, it, I think that's where he wanted it. It's Super Archers. Double Clone. Rage. Invis. They pick up the multi. Did he clone Goblins too? He did. LOL. Get the Monolith and the multi. He got the monolith. Can he pick up the multi? No, they're all going to skip the multi. What happened? I swear, some of them were shooting the multi. Why did they switch targets? Awkward. Awkward. He used all of his spells, and I don't know if that was enough value without getting the multi. Bamming everything in from the bottom side now. He pulled the CC troops out early. Oh. It'll be interesting. He's got an Apprentice Warden in there as well. Cool. He tried to wall break to the core, but that wall breaker targeted an outside open wall. Good thing he brought extras. Use another one. Still holding on to the Warden ability. Did he already lose his king? Bro, his king died so fast. He had Diggy on the king, and that king just died instantly. What the... There's the Warden ability. Feels kind of late. <laughs> Oh, this is looking rough for Zevin. E-Titans with Warden are going to move through the right side of the base as the champion clears the core. Sure. Sure. That headhunter was also late. But with a Phoenix, champion will at least get through her. And can she get through the scatter in time? I think she might. Ooh, down goes the scatter shot. Queen still has healers. He's got a wall breaker. Can he break the junction? Get the queen out faster? Uh, it doesn't hit the junction. Does she just walk all the way around like a smarty? Nope, she's gonna beat through a wall. Uh, why is queen gotta be so derpy? I think this it just ends up being a time fail. Right? We got queen ability. We got the unicorn. We got a healer. Well, it might be a fail fail. That might be too many defenses for her to handle. Rip. Rip. The bad zinger given another chance to take the lead back after this defense. Cadiel's base going to be able to hold. Queen's still pushing through. Going to get a few more buildings here to up the percentage. But he's going to run out of time here at 85. 85. Nice try. Indy is in with some queen charge. Lalo. Here we go. Got a recall spell on this one, too. Interesting. Queen charge recall. Lay low. I'm a fan. Queen on the bottom side of the base here. Which way do we want her to walk? Looks like she's going to walk to the right. Okay. Nice. Queen takes the wizard tower. Fights the champion. Oh, we're going to recall her before she fights the champion. And then drop her again over here. Going to need a rage right away. Nice. A good Coco Loon could pull the poison tower in a better spot. Nice. Clutch so the healers won't get hit. King's in on the left side. Another Coco Loon pulls some traps. Wall break into that poison tower section so Queen can reach the eagle. And if he waits, is patient enough with the next wall break, he can give her access to the monolith too. Oh, this Queen's going to take an interesting path. Nope, she goes right into the middle. Perfect. Perfect. Can the healer stay alive? Oh, they're going to get hit by the... Oh, good wall break. 
Monolith locks on. Do we need an invis or something? Use the invis. Oh, look at that aggressive invis. Perfectly placed. She gets the sweeper. She goes for the monolith. I wish he had one more wall breaker. He might have been able to get her in for the town hall. She'll still go there, but it's going to take her some time to get through a wall. Or he doesn't care. He's going to blimp the town hall. Here comes CC troops. Pops her ability. Pops the warden ability for the town hall. Balloons are going to go straight into the poison, though. The poison tower. That's awkward. We rage over the town hall. More balloons from the right side. Still got a royal champion to deploy. 69 seconds left on the clock. LOL. Yeti bomb. Takes out the town hall. Balloons struggling. Champion from the right to go fight the enemy champion. That headhunter, was it too early? We freeze the scatter shot. No, headhunter works out. Queen beating on a wall. We just got to get through the upper left side of the base. I think he's looking all right. I think he's looking all right. We got a couple spells left over. Queen finds the tornado trap. She's going to distract the scatter shot for us. While the champion makes her way inside with the warden, with the owl, with a couple balloons that are still alive. Tesla farm's there, but it doesn't matter. Queen was able to snipe the scatter shot. RC has ability. We got spells left over. Just got to make sure we don't run out of time. 24, 23. We can pop RC ability. Take the rest of the defenses out. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, uh, she might die. But we got sneaky goblins working on cleanup. This is wrecked. This is wrecked. What a plan from Bad Zinger. And just like that, they take the lead right back. Form is in. Final attack for Chinese Indo. They're down by a star. They must triple to have a chance to win. Triple lightning spells take out both sweepers. And we're back to the dragon spam. It's worked so well for them early in this match. Let's see. They can get another three star with it here. Nine Durgans, three Durgan Riders, one Inferno Durgan. Starting off with a few sneakies around the map, though. Okie dokie. <coughs> there is the Barbarian King with the Queen. We snipe that first air defense. King to fight enemy King. We don't bring any headhunters to help. One headhunter there honestly makes a huge difference, dude. Oh, well. Dragons are in on the right side. Where's the battle bunt? Where's the battle bunt? Where's the battle bunt? Being patient. First rage spells in. Here comes the blimp. Rage tower on defense. Archers with the rage tower. Warden ability. Boom, boom, boom. Good eternal tome. Battle blimp soaring for the town hall chamber. We got clone spells. Double clone again. These guys like their clones. Tornado traps there, though. Can you wait it out? Can you wait it out? Can you wait it out? Yes. Clone spells don't expire, please. We're going to freeze. Look at that. Lots of balloons all over the place. Town hall secured. Monolith. Bomb towers. Gigabomb goes off. Balloons are dying. <coughs> Excuse me. There's going to be a Lava Hound in the CC, though, isn't there? Oh, whatever it was, he already fought it. Dragon's moving through the bottom side. Still cruising. Champion able to get through the Inferno Tower. But the King, the Queen, dead. The Champion, dead. It's all up to the Dragons and the Warden. Uh-oh. He used all his spells. Ugh. <coughs> Rip. That fizzled out. Or does he get it? Does he get it? Warden takes out the queen. Two dragons, Warden. I don't think he gets it. I don't think he gets it. Rip Tom. I don't think his champion got enough value. I don't know if I'm a fan of the double clone on that blimp. I feel like all the clone balloons just die right away. Do you guys feel the same way? <coughs> There's got to be a better way to use your spells. Dragon Owl trying to take out these last few defenses, but it's going to fall short here at 88%. Even some of the new popular country stuff like Morgan Wallen, hardcore diehard country fans will get will get mad. They'll say that's not even real country. It's like this new version blend of country pop. Gadiel is in with the final attack of the match. He needs a two star to win it for his team and get it done. The early battle blimp. He didn't use any spells. He just wanted the Inferno Tower, the Poison Tower. But he woke up the Town Hall. I don't even know if he was expecting that. Being on the bottom side. <coughs> You're gonna walk down and around. Okay. Okay. There goes the King. With a wall break, he's gonna have access to the Scatter Shot, the other Expo, and the Archer Queen. We're trying to force Queen inside for the expo, the town hall. We're going to wall break to make sure she goes in there. Nice. There's a king ability. Ooh, we lose a healer to a seeking air mine. We lose two healers to seeking air mines. Uh-oh. Here comes CC troops. 
Bro, this king might not get the scatter. He's getting spun around in circles by that tornado. He goes down. Phoenix brings him back. Can he get the scatter shot in time? Ice Golem might distract him. He gets the scatter. Nice. Nice. Oh, look at this wall break, bro. No way. That's juicy. Oh, the wall breaker dies early to a giant bomb. Rip the juiciness. That would have kept Queen outside the Giga Poison. Instead, she's going to go right into it. Did she die through ability or did she already use ability to rip? Town Hall secured, but this is a... Looking bamboozled. Hog Riders. Champion. Warden. In from the top side. Skeleton spell to help distract the monolith. Again, though, you need to drop it like in this dead zone. So this multi cannot reach skellies. I swear, dude, people never use their skellies correctly. Hogs are thinning out like crazy, though. We still got to fight a Barbarian King, the Eagle Artillery. Champion moving through. She's getting hit by the Eagle. We got one more freeze for the monolith there. But now she has to fight the King. We do have the Poison Lizard to help, actually. Bro, if that wall breaker had worked, this would have been a triple. Big rip. The plan was good. The plan was good. Hold on. Did I count him out too early? This might still three star. Diggy is just going to stun this monolith and it's going to be OP. Look at this. Poison Lizard even can distract it for a couple shots. Diggy coming in clutch. Does he get it? Or does he time fail? 22, 21. 20. He's got clean up on the left, clean up on the top, clean up on the right. That's a three star. I counted him out too early. Cadiel. The plan was just too good. He's able to pull through with 10 seconds left over. Another triple and a 14 star performance from Bad Zinger. Nicely done. 14 to 12, 98.8 to 93.6.